introduction and good afternoon. And uh, this is the last talk of the, the Japanese surgeon. And uh, we really appreciate your friendship. And um, we, it's really my honor to have a spe speech about uh, excellent bariatric surgeon. And also, it's my pleasure to see my the friends here in Saudi Arabia and uh, the friends from India. And uh, as a president of Asian Pacific Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery Society, I was asked to speak about uh, this issue in some, in some Congress. And um, I don't think I'm an excellent bariatric surgeon, but um, I have to talk about this so that um, I have to ask some the excellent bariatric surgeon all over the world. And uh, for me, the, when I was a resident, the, my mentor told me that the good surgeon needs 3H. What does 3H mean? 3H means cool head and the skilled hand and warm heart. So that cool head mean cool head mean the sign. I think it's very important for the scientific attitude, like. Uh, academic surgeon. Of course, we are a clinical surgeon, but um, we need the academic mind. And also, the in, when we encounter some trouble, we have to keep calm. So regarding the scientific attitude, in last year, our center published uh, 10 English paper, the peer review paper. And also in this year, we already accepted three peer review paper and uh, I think it's very important for us to still have a curiosity of our field. And uh, of course, the bariatric surgeon uh, has this kind of trouble during surgery. At this time, keep calm, we are surgeons. So even in the, this kind of situation, the, everybody scream in the lower quarter, but uh, surgeons always have to stay calm. <laughs> So as I look back on these men who influenced me so greatly, I realized, I realized that their influence lay not in their craftsmanship, but in the high quality of mind. So that, uh, this is my mentor and my good friends in Asia, so that uh, I interviewed them by mail. So what makes an excellent bariatric surgeon? All of them. I think it's a very excellent surgeon. So my friend Mahazar here, and uh, he replied to me, the most excellent surgeons don't do different things. They do the same things differently. Hence, stick to basic and do time-tested proven procedure rather than experiment the one. And also he said that to make excellent work, stick to every minute's details. An extra stitch on spending or spending an extra five minutes looking at the staple line for breathing will go a long way in improving your outcomes. And that's very important things. And also he said that as a bariatric surgeon, grow as part of a team. I know his team is very nice so that, um, and I also tried to my team, the, one of the best in Japan. And Weiji Li is uh, the leader of us in Asia that we have a huge influence from him, and he, had, he, he has been playing a role of a reader of a bariatric surgery in Asia. And he, he's a very smart person, and he replied to me that the important thing is talent in technique, serious to your patient, and focus in practice, and chances from God. And uh, also, he, the Mufi and uh, the Weijie is a very skilled surgeon. And uh, I also think the skill technique is very important for a bariatric surgeon. So this is a very nice study uh, done in the Michigan Bariatric Group. Many of you know that it's published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And uh, they test, th they ranked their skill by gentleness and time and motion, the flow of operation and the instrument handling and teeth exposures. The five is a master bariatric surgeon and the one is at the level of chief resident. 
So uh, quite interestingly, that uh, there are uh, videos of the high latent surgeon and the low latent surgeon. You can see that. Throughout each step, the field is clearly visible. The audio up, please. Okay, that's fine. So this is a jejun jejun smear over low MI gastric bypass. When setting up the bowel anastomosis or connection, the bowel limbs are aligned in such a way as to make the operation appear easy. <coughs> so there is a step anastomosis and <coughs> hands-on closures. Even during freehand suturing, which is a difficult task, the needle is maintained in the correct position, and the bites are precise and accurate. So this is a surgery for a high latent surgeon. <coughs> One stitch flows seamlessly to the next. So seamless, With regard seamless to technical procedure. proficiency, there is little to criticize in this video. So the editor thought that uh, there is no criticize in these videos, and uh, quite in interesting. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> it's very interesting that uh, here the bowel is not well aligned with the stapler. Video of a lower, making it difficult surgeon. to place into the lumen of the bowel. Furthermore, visualization of the operative field is impaired during much of the procedure, due in part, at least, to inadequate retraction or poor tissue alignment. Probably this surgeon never thought that his video was uh, quoted as a lower rated surgeon's video. Finally, <coughs> instrument handling appears awkward, especially during suturing of the bowel. Of course, these surgeons are also that um, there are several missteps during this part of their team, and um, <clears throat> but there are some missteps in the procedures. So that uh, after that, it's uh, quite interesting. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> the the lower rated surgeon has a higher complication ratio and the re-operation and the readmission, and also the mortality is a uh, five times high in a lower rated surgeon. So that <coughs> indicates that uh, skill is uh, very important in our field. So I'd like to show my video of the same one that J.J. Jason to me. And um, staple anastomosis, then the suture, the um, entry hole of a staple. Not too bad, isn't it? <laughs> so the, I think it's very important for us to have a skill of suturing because we cannot combat it to open. The patient is, is a, has a huge amount of fat, subcutaneous fat, and also the intra-abdominal fat. So it's, a, it, it's impossible. When we encounter some trouble, we have to suture so that the suturing skill is very important to avoid uh, some complication during surgeries. And also the, the laparoscopy can provide us very nice view. If we open this patient, it's, uh, it's quite uh, difficult to suture the staple line like this. I think that the, the laparoscopic suturing is much faster than open surgery in this kind of um, morbid obese patient. So just two minutes to close this 
entry hole. So that the almost a uh, hundred years ago, the Johann Mikulic said, "I can recognize a good surgeon, not by how he cut, but he how shoes." So that, as Mufi said, the suturing technique is um, the basic of surgery. So that we have to stick to basic. The, I always said we need to back to the suture. So that uh, I have an opportunity to do a live almost, uh, demonstrating surgery in also it included in Kuwait and uh, the other parts of Asia. And uh, I had the opportunity to do uh, the live surgery in Canada and the United States. Of course, I don't have a license of the United States, but um, some surgeon the Mr. Ganier asked me to do a live surgery in the Three Gastric Consensus Summit. And uh, I, at that time, I said it, it was impossible. But he said, uh, do a first live transmission surgery from Japan to United States. And I heard that it was uh, also, as far as I know, it was the first live surgery from Asia to, to United States at that time. So from Tokyo to New York, the distance was over 10,000 kilometers, and time difference is 14 hours. So that, the, many of my colleagues in my hospital said, it is impossible. But I tried to erase him of impossible. And uh, you know that there are a border between Japan and New York, but I feel surgery has no border. And also, that, uh, when I had a live surgery, Mufi invited me to his uh, Akumon's meeting in Kashmir, India. Of course, many of you know that the Kashmir is uh, the place of conflict. So that, so we have to, when we go out for the city tour, we were guarded by soldiers at that time. But in the operating theater, when I did, when I did the surgery, the, the surgeon from Oman and the surgeon from Thailand voluntarily to be my assistant. So that, at that time, I felt the surgery has no border. So that the surgeon can respect each other upon the, their skills, knowledge, expertise, and attitude, and science. It was quite nice things for us. And uh, regarding my mentor, the, the master of surgery is Dr. Kelvin Higa. When I saw his surgery about 15 years ago, the, his surgery was like dancing and he performed as a magician. Now, when I saw his surgery in Fresno the first time, I said to him, I'm not a genius like you. I don't think I can make it. But he replied to me, no cousin, it's not a matter of talent. It is just a matter of practice. So that after coming back to Japan, I bought my own training box and then put some the, the stickers, that means the fighting spirit. And then I tried suture, training of suture, suture every day and night, many times. Then um, I tried to suture everything, but I failed to suture the mouth of my wife. Thank you. <laughs> so that my hero, the Ichiro, said that the locking up the little feet is the only way to reach some place extraordinary. So that the suturing training is a very basic one, but uh, without that, we cannot uh, achieve anything. And I also asked Kevin Higa the, about uh, excellent of bariatric surgery. So there, he replied to me that there are three qualities that lead to excellence in bariatric surgery. He said, curiosity, humility, and integrity. So curiosity is an uh, instinct and drive to find the answers. What causes diseases? What does an operation work? Why does an operation not work? And why does a complication happen? I always say to my fellow that the curiosity brings chance. So 
we have a curiosity so that we have a chance to do a bariatric surgery. If I don't have a curiosity, I still be a, just a GI laparoscopic surgeon. So that the serendipity is also brought by curiosity. You can find something important in among all of the, some issues. So humility is uh, understanding that we don't understand anything, the willingness to listen and continue to learn without prejudice or judgment. The objective acceptance for facts and the willingness to continuously evaluate facts for actual truth. This is very important for us. And also, integrity is uh, honesty and morality. That's what the, the chicken one said. It's almost said. He said that uh, the most important one is love. When you love your patient, you will devote all of your efforts. There are many factors like team, leadership, goal, etc. But without this, will not be excellent. So he's a very romantic guy. And just like a Beatles, all you need, all you need is love. And also we, need, we know that Shike is a rich man. <laughs> so finally, I asked Michel Gagnier, he's also my hero, and um, he answered me, 10,000 hours of practice, 10,000 articles read, 10,000 patients operated. But mostly an uh, incredible passion about what you, what you do. And attention to details and the continuous path of excellence. And probably unhappiness of status quo. One minute more. Yeah, finally. Just one. So that, uh, this is Bo Jackson, my favorite player. He was elected as uh, the uh, superstar, the all-star of Major League Baseball, and also the National League Football, the only one person in the United States. And uh, he said, set your goal high and don't stop until you get there. So we will have a meeting in this month in Tokyo, end of March, the theme of the meeting was independence of Asia and the cooperation in Asia. So we need to focus our results in Asia. So that place is the center of Tokyo, and we have many hot topics, and all of them uh, for the pursuit of excellence. We also have the, the, some the hands-on course by Dr. Kermit Higer, so we can learn from the master of masters. We welcome all of you to Japan at the end of this March with the Japan quality of hospitality. Thank you very much. Yeah, questions? Maybe no question. Okay, thank you. <laughs>